Alright, I promised you my the light one did. I promised you my tomato sauce recipe we're gonna be candy today. So I let these do a little bit more ripening since Monday. So about three days I have let them ripen because I wanted them a little bit more ripe. But what I did was decor them and cut out all that hard green stem thing or whatever. And I saved that to feed my chickens, okay? Now I also bleached and scrubbed my sink out because I'm going to use this to hold tap water. Just plain old tap water, but I wanted my sink sanitized, okay? Over here, I'm kind of letting my water get up to a boil. Because we all know when heat hits tomatoes, the skin comes off first. It makes it easier on you to peel. Now, as that's going, like I said, I've been uh, decoring, cutting off bad spots, that kind of stuff. Because we all know, whatever you do, tomato's going to have a bad spot if it sits out like three days. But you want them a little overripe without going too far. Okay, like you don't want them mushy, but you want them as red as they possibly can get. And there were some in the box that hadn't turned red all the way, like two or three, and I put them to the side uh, for just eating. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we do. And I also threw in some uh, heirloom tomatoes that were at that point of being where I needed them to be. Because if I would have waited another day, they wouldn't have been any good. So... I went ahead and put them in the batch too because we're not about to waste here. Please make sure that everything you use today is sterilized. Jars, all of it. I got my jars in the dishwasher, okay? And we are using our handy dandy biscuit cutter today and I'll show you why, okay? Makes things so much easier. And yes, this is the uh, awesome brand on my TikTok shop. You can get it all day long. I don't know how much it was. It wasn't very expensive, but it, it works. It's the best thing you'll ever buy, and I use this thing regularly. Now, while we're waiting for our water to boil, to boil on our stove, I'm going to be filling up my sink. After I bleached and scrubbed my sink with fresh, cold tap water. That's all you need. Everybody will tell you to use ice water, but don't waste your ice like that. This will do the same. No sense in wasting your ice. Now we're getting ready in a few minutes to, we're going to take our tomatoes, put them in the bowl of water, wait like two or three minutes, the skin will start cracking and peeling, then take it out and put it into the other dish pan, and when this dish pan is full, it'll go into the water for a few minutes, and then you'll let the tomato cool a little bit, and then you'll start peeling. Now remember, this is a simple recipe. We're just, the only seasoning we'll be using is just canning salt or a kosher sea salt. Not kosher. A rock sea salt. Now, I, my store was out of sea salt that I like to use, so I went with a canning pickling salt, which will work just as good. You cannot use regular table salt. On, these, on this type of canning, you have to have a thicker ground salt, like uh, sea salt, Himalayan salt, canning salt, you know, the ice cream rock salt. You can use that, but I only do... A teaspoon per jar okay always remember that and make sure you keep everything sterilized and um, it gets fun once you get into it but it takes about two and a half to three hours to cook fully I let my boiler my boiling water come to a boil and then I put my tomatoes in and I'm gonna let it sit for about three to four minutes and you will notice when your tomatoes start looking like this you will see the skin wrinkle up and it'll peel right off. But these are gotta go in the cold water, but I'm gonna do the whole thing first and then put them in the cold water for a minute. And another tip to look for, if you get tomato, like when you're doing your peeling, make sure you got a crack that, crack that runs from the stem all the way to the back side of it. That way you know that whole tomato's ready to peel. Now when peeling your tomatoes, make sure you look for bad spots and get the ends off the butts of them, okay? Um, most of the time the butt will peel right off, but sometimes it won't. Now this is, this, about one box should make six to eight quarts of tomato uh, sauce. At this point with your tomatoes, all I took was a big knife and ran through it just to cut them in half. Then we're going to use the fun thing and just go in there with the biscuit cutter. And it's going to cut them down to size. 
And then after we get through with the biscuit cutter, we also gonna use our hands and get in there. So make sure your hands is clean at all times during this. And like I said, this is the uh, Holison. It's on my TikTok shop. This, it's just a simple biscuit cutter, stainless steel, rust proof, all of it. Um, I got it from the TikTok shop. I've been looking for one. My granny used to have a metal one when she used to do this. So now when you run your hands through this and squeeze, you're gonna squeeze it out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we're gonna be doing the same technique that Italy does with their feet, but we're doing it with our hands. And you're gonna get these pretty chopped up, pretty good. Uh, these are gonna take about three hours to cook. So, like I said, no, I almost went in there without washing my hands. Then go in there and squeeze. And if you feel anything hard or, yeah, hard, make sure to pull it out. Nobody wants to eat that hard stuff in your tomato sauce, okay? And be careful because this is overfilled. And don't be scared. This is the way old folks used to do it. You know what I'm saying? So, just remember that. I'll be back. And no matter what, I don't care what nobody's saying, you're going to make a mess. Just how it is. Part of canning. You're going to make a mess. But you worry about that mess after you get through everything on cooking, then you clean it up. So after you get done, let me find my spoon. You should have the consistency like this. I went in there, I chopped it real small, and then I crushed it, and you know, you have to wash your hands. Like I was saying before something happened to my phone, I went in there, chopped it up real soft, small with my biscuit cutter, and um, crushed it with my hands, took out anything that was hard, and um, now, now what we're gonna do is put this on a burner, and we're gonna cook it. Now this is gonna take two to three hours to cook. Now at this point, if you decide you want to make a tomato um, puree or tomato uh, paste, you would have to get your immersion blender out. So there will be a part two to this, but um, while I'm cooking everything, that's when my jars are being washed and sanitized in the dishwasher. Um, you, that's how we do it. Uh, some people tell you to put them in um, the oven, I, I I really skip that process. I'll be honest with you. I do. I kind of skip it because I'm on water bath easy anyway. So that's just how I do. But uh, yeah, there's going to be a part two because I'm running out of time. But I got one more box to do. But our second video will show you um, what the process is after they're cooked. So y'all be stay tuned and don't forget about the live tonight at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And if you like this video, if you like these types of videos, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, repost, stitch, whatever y'all do. Uh, you know, just trying to show you the old ways. That's all. Love you.